the last thing we did was we added bad guys to our Space Invader game. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I guess the next step would be to add some bullets so that the player can shoot the bad guys. Yep, let's make a bullet class. Import java.star public class bullet. Um, yeah, curly bracket, curly bracket. What does the bullet need to know? It needs to know its speed, public. How many pixels per second? 150 pixels per second. Not void. Public static final int. And it also needs to know its x location and its y location. So public private double x y and it needs to know its direction so private boolean up because we're also eventually going to have the bad guys shoot back at the players all right Make a constructor for our, for our bullet. Bullet will start at x y. No, double x and double y. And boolean for up or down. And underscore all of these. There we go. We can just say x equals x, y equals y, and up equals up. And we just save this as bullet dot java. Alright, compile. No problems. And we'll do public void update. Uh, what we're going to do is if up y plus equals dt times speed. Oh, sorry, for up it's going to be minus equals. And else y plus equals dt times speed. Okay, compile. Seems to work fine. No errors. Um, hmm. What else? Ah. We need to add some classes. Public Boolean hit by bullet. So the player needs to know the location of the bullet for it to tell if it's been hit by it. So we need to have some getters. Public void get no get x return x that's not a void, that's a double and get y this allows player to access x and y without being able to change them. So we can say rectangle bounds equals new rectangle. And I'm just going to copy 
what we drew. Ah. And that's a rectangle. That's a very simple copy and paste that uh, will save you a lot of time. Let me think. Okay. Now if bounds dot contains new point b dot get x and b dot get y. Return true. This is one of the uh, nice features of Java. Is it has so many little classes that you can use. Rectangle works just perfectly for this. Okay. Compile. Oh, error. Point is part of... Hmm. I forget what point is part of. I'm just going to go to my API and find point. No. Yeah, here we go. Point. Point is part of java.aut. Oh, these have to be ints. Int. An int. Okay. Compile. One error. Missing return statement. Ah, we also need to return false. See what happens here is if bounds contains the point that the bullet's at, it'll return true. But if it doesn't, it'll return false. So that tells us if the player's been hit by the bullet. And we're going to just copy this and take it over to our bad guy. And we'll just paste it right in there. There we go. And shift tab to scoot it back. And compiles. Very nice. Okay. We need all to also do is to hmm. Oh, create a draw method in bullet. So public void draw brackets g. Okay. I'm just gonna say g dot um hmm. set color color dot what color do we want our bullets? White. I think I like them to be white. Um g dot draw line. We don't need to draw a full rectangle for the bullet. We'll just do int x int y minus mm, minus 1 and then int x and int y plus 1 and then we'll just draw a little 3 pixel line right where our bullet is just going to compile alright, that's nice and run it ooh, <laughs> can't run bullet you can only run space invaders. And really we don't need to run it because we haven't really added anything to the game. We've just created something we can add to the game. Alright. So player needs a shoot method. Okay. We need to do one thing. We need to say public static final double. Um, bullet frequency or shot frequency. I'm going to say we're going to have 10 bullets per second. That seems reasonable.
Okay. What's that? Public void. Shoot. Vector bullet. All right. When we shoot, we're going to need a reference to the list of bullets that the game has so that we can add a bullet to that list and so that it'll show up on the screen. So, to make it so that we can't shoot more than, I don't know, 10 bullets per second, the shot frequency, we need to have a reference to when the last bullet was shot. Long last shot. And we'll just make it zero as a default value. So, if last shot, oh, double uh, dt equals system dot nano time minus last shot. divided by, or times 1 e to the minus 9. And that just gives us the time in seconds since the last bullet was shot. So, if dt is greater than 1 divided by shot frequency, we'll say um bullets dot add new bullet x um get height minus two no y minus get minus height minus two and yeah that's it Is that the constructor for bullet? Oh, we need to tell it if it's going up or down. So, it's going up. Okay. We'll just compile this. Ooh, eight errors. What did I do wrong? Illegal start of expression. Ah, here we go. There we go. See, if you have an extra curly bracket, you get a lot of weird errors. Uh, we need to import vector. Okay, and it compiled successfully. But I'm going to need to wait till the end of. I mean, you're going to need to wait till the next video for me to show you how it looks. So.